What up, people? Welcome to another great episode of What the B is is going on in the world today. And of course, I have to make sure I do another one of these great videos. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just the nobodies. Yep. Just the nobodies came up with like a theory on Taco Bell and some other things. But I thought this was pretty crazy. Check it out. Pretty sure you're gonna like. Oh, oh, please. If you like this, like this, please subscribe. Like. Oh, have you ever heard of the Taco Bell theory? Dude, okay, I'm gonna just say this right now. Taco Bell is one of my favorite fast food places ever. I don't know if it's gonna be your favorite after this. Dude, don't ruin a fast food place for me. So back in 2011, right? Yeah. Taco Bell was in a lawsuit where this company was basically making the claim that Taco Bell's meat, right? The meat they use, the beef, is not real beef to be considered beef. So what? There's a oh, rule wow. in America where the USDA requires that when you have beef on your menu, right? At least 40% of the beef has to be real beef. And if it's... You mean to tell me FDA really got it out here that 40% of the meat must be beef? 40%? Why it can't be like 90 or 80%? Like, or 100? Why we just can't eat all beef? Like, literally... I might have to do this on my Gas Mash Tribe TV show because I really got to filter out this. Wow. Are you serious? Yikes. If it's under 40%, then it's you can't call it beef. Uh -huh. wow. Just remember what I just said. To be considered real beef, all you have to do is have 40% real beef. That means we could be eating 40% real beef and 60% a bunch of like random oh my stuff, gosh. mixtures and substances. Wait, what? Okay, sorry, that kind of just clicked with me. Wait, what the heck? Taco Bell, they're like, oh no, like that's not true. We have 88% real meat. Wait, okay, that's still kind of sketchy. What? Long story short. Now, I tried, like literally, I thought by, I thought by like getting 88%, I thought that would be good enough, but it might not be. Long story short, they have this lawsuit. And everyone's like freaking out, like Taco Bell doesn't have real meat. There's a theory that Taco Bell, the reason why they don't advertise they have beef, they go like beefy gordita crunch, beefy nacho griller, beefy potato griller. Oh my gosh. They say beefy because beef, they can't call it beef because the USDA says you have to have 40% real beef. Wait, <laughs> everything on the menu, it says beef. <laughs> oh wow beefy. are you serious it doesn't say like beef taco it says beefy taco right so wow. that's, a, that's a theory somehow taco bell ends up overturning that lawsuit and it turns out that they have 88 percent real beef okay that's still kind of low though it's not it's not 100 it's very strange like to even say like you have 88 percent real food wow taco bell taco bell y'all not y'all not treating us good man like what are we doing here man like this is crazy taco bell y'all feeding us some boo-boo like literally we didn't fed boo-boo are you seriously gonna tell me that taco bell is literally feeding us 88 percent beef i'm just saying people this has to be crazy what the biz is going on? I'm a big Taco Bell fan. Well, now I'm not. I'm kind of embarrassed. I'm very embarrassed to admit that I'm a Taco Bell fan and they only had 88% meat, maybe 40% meat or beef. And they call it beefy. I'm gonna go try one of those beefy tacos a little later. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. If you like this, please subscribe. Uh, please subscribe. One subscriber, one video. Ten subscribers, ten video. You know the model. We got what the B is.